Howdy everybody, this is Bake with DinoThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about Dark Moon. And by talk about Dark Moon, I'm going to show you combat from this latest Dark Moon that just ended. AVE won it again, like they always do. This is where we are right now, going into this video. That's the Impenetrable Fortress. Imperishable. The Imp Fortress. That's what we're going for right there, the Fortress. And so this is us making our push to the middle right now. AVE's pretty much already got the event in the bag at this point, for the most part. But we are going to push up there and try to get the points for the Fortress. Now, there were some differences with Darkmoon this time, and I thought they were pretty good for the most part. Number one, you started out with 100,000 Signets, which was nice, because it meant you got to the middle a lot faster. You got to fight a lot faster. You got to finish those level 1, 2, and 3 events a lot faster if you chose to do it that way, which a lot of people did. Uh, changed up how you should do it for the most part, but uh, it overall I thought the 100,000 was a really good change. Also, they reduced the amount of buffs you can get from the towers if you upgrade the towers, but uh, that was a little bit less of a reduction than uh, a lot of people were hoping for because it still made a pretty big difference uh, towards the tail end of it, which I'll, I'll show you here in a little bit. So this is us attacking a level 7 tile that is next to the fortress. And so what we're doing is now we're all hoarding in, we set the rally, AVE's all there and they're defending because they've got the fortress and then they've got pretty much all the tiles around it as well. So we're going to set a rally. We've all got our maximum march sizes on and everything else like that. And in these big, big tile fights in the middle of the day, you need a lot of people. We found that out again this time in Dark Moon is just that it's it comes down to a numbers game a lot of time. So that's why you see me in Alliance chat right there saying they have 147 million in. Don't worry, I got it on 200% right now, but it'll slow down more in a minute. So this is also part one of Dark Moon. This is going to be our push towards the fortress. Tomorrow there'll be part two, and then there'll be also a part three. And I'm going to post them back to back to back. So expect that over the next three days. Um, and all it is is a whole lot of combat. I'm not going to go into the nuts and bolts of Dark Moon a whole lot because a lot of us have it all figured out. And by all figured out, I mean figured out somewhat, which we'll go over a little bit more. So see right there, we hit, they bounce us. Look at the report. We lost 91, they lost 88. Almost even on troops. We had 147, they had 153. But look at the attack stats. See how much more attack Arrow has than Tess on this one? There's a reason for that. The reason is because of those tower, boost, uh, tower boosts, which I'll show you a little bit more in a minute. But what you saw me doing right there was I was going through and I was checking and making sure they weren't like full infantry troops or something like that, or half infantry troops using aspirant gear uh, or one of the other new sets, because if they were, we were going to need to adjust for it. But uh, they weren't. And so these battles were pretty much all Radiant versus Radiant. The uh, rally leads had very, very similar gear. And so what it came down to was just a flat numbers game, which is who can get the most people with good marches, march sizes on. So great job to one team showing up, filling these rallies, maximizing march sizes. It was awesome. And there are some 200 versus 200, like 400 million troop clashes in here because it was a it was a clash of the titans here right next to the fortress. I think this is day two, maybe. Yeah, I think it's day two. I'm not sure. But as you can see, there's a whole lot of people on each side. I think we got 25 people in. They've got 22, 25, somewhere around there. We hit, we bounce again. Completes my Inferno, though, so that's good. Get some Darkman coins. See, here again, we lost 106, they lost 104. The troops are a lot higher as we have more people that are noticing their uh, <laughs> noticing their notifications saying, rally, rally, rally. And I'm sure both of us were at our line channels at this point, yelling at everybody to get on, fill the rallies, everything else like that. So, they bounce us, we only lose by 2 million troops again. It's getting closer and closer. We're adjusting a little bit each time. Uh, not really with the troops, but with the gear and everything else like that. Because if you go, you look at this attack again, see how much more attack they have. Again, I scroll all the way through the troops because I'm still still used to having to click, click details. But uh, you don't have to anymore. So this is what I was talking about. If you scroll through the stats and you look at it right uh, there, I think. Um, no, maybe a little bit further down. You see the <laughs> rally troop attack when defending? That's the new stuff. They added that new rally tree right before Dark Moon. Well played. That right there. So they have 4802 enemy rally troop attack up. Uh, attack buff decrease when defending that is a stat that you can upgrade on towers in dark moon so if you're going to be holding a lot of towers for a long time then you upgrade that it reduces the rally attack by a whole lot they obviously have a lot of i don't know if they have a lot of uh, towers upgraded or not but they definitely have some because they've got almost 5k attack debuff right there and so that makes it really hard now we're up to almost 200 million troops in the rally uh, we've got enough notifications that have gone off that we've got enough people online and so we boost them this time or uh, bounce them out this time See all the snails and everything else going like that so 
right there. Look when you're defending. See how I have 8,600 now? When I was filling, I could only fill with 7,400. When I'm uh, refreshing my defense march. So when you're attacking, from what I gather, uh, from what it looks like, is when you're attacking, you're, number one, your march is just a lot lower. A lot of people don't really know why. I didn't really know why either until recently when somebody said, hey, I think that you don't get the uh, deputy pets or deputy stats, like the world skills, whenever you're attacking, but you do when you're defending. I think that might be the difference. I'm not, I'm not sure what the difference is, but what I was showing right there is that when you're defending, it's a lot easier to fill it up. So if you're a little bit shorter on players than the attacker is when you're defending, you still have a good chance because you get a little bit bigger march. Uh, see me bragging about uh, DJ there. So we take a hit, lose 118 million troops in that. Like I said, these are going to be some big rallies. As soon as the hit lands, pull my troops, refresh my march back up to over 8 million, get it back in there. And um, go look at the report. See, we killed 129, we lost 118. But at this point, we've got that little bitty edge because now we're defending. And so we got the extra troops in there. And see the attack difference now? They don't have that attack debuff stat anymore because they're no longer defending. Now they're attacking. So now all we're going to do is we're going to sit here and it's just going to be like getting hit with a wrecking ball over and over and over again. 2 million troops versus 200 million troops. And uh, that's what Dark Moon is once you get to the middle and once you get a really big fight. It's not always 30 versus 30, as everybody knows. Sometimes it's 20 v 20. Sometimes it's 10 v 20. Sometimes it's 5 v 30 if one, one alliance like sets a time and gets online, uh, as we saw on the next day. And so, as I said, this, is, this whole video is just going to be us defending this tower. You know, first taking it, and now we're going to be defending it. So we got nine minutes left. Once that ticker gets down to uh, the bottom, it goes into protected mode. There's ten minutes of protection, and then they could declare back on it if they want to. But uh, right now, we're just making sure we have as many troops in as we can. Here comes another rally. See the little Mandragosta running in with his little stick. He's going to beat the tower up with his stick. And as soon as it lands, I pull my troops out, get them back in there again. This is uh, very reminiscent to True World, if you might remember that, which is still 30v30. So as soon as I get, uh, as soon as that land, that hit comes, I pull out, get back in. Let's go look at the report on it. Killed 134, lost 118, but they're up at 206 million attack troops now. That's a big march. So that was 220 versus 206. So we've got 426 million troops that are battling in every single one of these rallies. So they switched their rally leaders now, and now it's going to be super rally. And so we assume there's going to be different stats coming. So we're looking to uh, see how that goes and making sure it stays full. See how we're only at 202 million? As soon as I see that we've only got 202 million, I go in there and I say, refresh, we need more. But what Dark Moon is, as we've seen, number one, AVE has crushed Dark Moon the past two times. Number two, Dark Moon is just about who can get the most people online together with a, you know, a good rally leader and have those people active and ready to go. Because there's a lot of times, like, middle of the night, I wake up the next morning and there's like 15 notifications. And those 15 notifications, you know, say, Devo has declared war on this tile. AVE has declared war on this tile. Blah, 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 blah. And it's the middle of the night. And sometimes we win those, sometimes we lose those. But that's what's hard about Dark Moon is because it's a four-day event. There's a lot of times when you just don't have people that are awake to defend your towers or to go and attack towers. But overall, this Dark Moon was a lot of fun. Um, there are some things that I think need to get adjusted a little bit with it, but for the most part, once we got into the actual fighting portion of Dark Moon, and like so, this this battle right here, and then the Imperishable Fortress battle that I'm going to post tomorrow, that was awesome. That was one of the best capital battles I've been in, in in Iron Throne, like since the beginning of Iron Throne. I can't think of many capital battles that have been as intense as that one. So I'm, I'm going to post that one tomorrow, and then the uh, third day video that I'm going to post is going to be us defending tiles. Because we've, at that point, we've got the fortress. Spoiler alert. We've got the fortress at that point. And then um, we are having to defend against multiple alliances at the same time. Because of the way the point system worked out, we knew that we couldn't let Devo get to the fortress and get any points for the fortress. Because we wanted third place. This is all a fight for third place. AVE, even while this video is going on, AVE pretty much has the event locked up. They're in first place. Um, so we are going for third place at this point. Uh, cause, because of the way the killing is worked out. So, see, that was a big hit. See all the snails and bunnies running away. And then uh, you see all of our guys getting pulled out, going back in. And one thing to remember, especially in Dark Mood, or in True World, or in any capital battle, if you see fillers 
sending marches, and they've got like satyrs or the other guys, whatever they're called. I don't know. If they've got not snails or bunnies in their marches, tell them to put a snail or a bunny in there, unless they just don't have it, in which case it is what it is. But that increases your march size a little bit. So that's why you see so many snails and bunnies running back and forth. So we held this one. We are now going to be going for the imperishable, impenetrable, the fortress in the middle of the map. That's what we're going to be going for. Next video, expect that tomorrow. Like, subscribe, hope you enjoyed it. That's what it looks like whenever 400 million troops hit each other. So thanks for watching, everybody.